Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for phonics today. To take part in our learning, you will need a lined piece of paper and a pencil. Pause the video to collect the things you need and then click play once you're ready to begin. We're going to start by revising our letter names. They really help us with our spelling. We're going to sing the alphabet to the tune of Happy Birthday. Can you sing along with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Four letters have been circled. Can you tell me their letter names starting from the bottom today? At the bottom we have X, then R, H, and at the top, A. We're going to read some common exception words now. These words have some phonic clues, but they do also have some tricky parts to look out for. I'll show you a word, and your job is to read it as clearly and quickly as you can. If you need some more thinking time, just pause the video on a word, and when you know what it says, click play. Well done everyone. Let's recall our sounds. I'll show you a phase two or phase three sound written down, the graphing, and you can tell me the sound it makes, the phoneme. We have reached lesson 25. Well done. We are going to master a trigraph today. I wonder which one it will be. Do you remember what the word trigraph means? It is the trigraph your. I remember how to say the phoneme for this graphing by saying you're hard to say, so it must be your. Can you pause the video and think of any words with the phoneme your in them? 
Click play if you've thought of some. Did you manage to think of any? It's quite a challenging one. I did manage to think of one. I thought of the word mature. When you're making grown-up decisions, you are mature. Let's practice forming this trigraph. Did you know all three of these letters belong to different letter families? Do you know which letter family the U belongs to? It's a ladder letter. Can you practice forming it in the air with me? Finger on the green dot. We're going to go down, up, down and flick. One more time. Start on the green dot. Down, up, down and flick. Which letter family does R belong to? It's a one-armed robot letter. Can you form the R in the air with me? Start on the green dot. Down, up and over. One more time. Down, up and over. Fantastic. The E goes around in a curve. I wonder which letter family it belongs to. Yes, it's a curly caterpillar letter. Can you form it with me? Up, around and down. In the air another time. Up, around and down. Are you sitting in a good writing position? Do you have your back against the back of the seat? Do you have two feet on the floor? And is your hand resting on your paper to keep it still? Pick up your pencil and put the tip of it between two lines. Follow my instruction, we're going to write the U first. Down, up, down and flick. Take your pencil off the page and put the tip back in between the middle of the two lines. I'm going to do the R now. Down, up and over. Now the curly E. Up. Around and down. Are all three letters sitting on the line? And are they the same height as well? Pause the video and practice writing the trigraph your for one minute and then click play once you've done so. I bet you could join me in reading these your words. I've added the sound buttons to help us to spot those trigraphs. Let's read the first one together. K, your, cure, cure. Cure means to relieve somebody of symptoms. Sometimes we might use medicine for that. Can you read the next word with me? E, n, d, your, endure. Endure. That's when you might really patiently suffer doing something difficult for a long amount of time. And the last word, can you hold all of these sounds in your head with me and blend it? M, A, N, I, K, Y, O, M, A, N, I, K, Y, O, M, A, N, I, K, Y, O. Manicure is when you might pamper your hands, you might shape your nails or add some nail polish. I have three words with the trigraph of your, which I would love for you to write for me today. The first word is the word pure. Can you see that glass of water? It is pure because it is clear and it hasn't been mixed with any other substances. Let's stretch out the word pure. P, your, pure, and put it on our phoneme fingers. P, your, pure. Can you write it down? Remember, the three letters you need for the trigraph your should already be written down on your piece of paper. You might look at the top of your paper for some clues. Have you added your sound buttons as well? Do you know what that is a picture of? In the second picture, 
It's a bit of a silly one. It's animal dung that is used for fertilising. It's very good for growing things in. And the word for that is manure. We say manure, but it is spelt as manure. So let's stretch out manure. M a n y o r manure, and put it on your feigning fingers. M a n y o r manure. Can you write it down? Did you hear all four of the phonemes? M a n y o r manure. On the last slide, we learnt the word manicure, which is when you pamper your hands and your fingernails. The next word we are going to write is pedicure, and a pedicure is when you pamper your toenails and your toes. You might add some nail polish and trim them. Shall we stretch out the word pedicure? There are lots of sounds in this word. Pedicure, pedicure, and put it on our feigning fingers. Pedicure, pedicure. Wow! Did you hear all six phonemes? Can you write down pedicure? Pedicure. Pedicure. Have you remembered your sound buttons as well? And have you remembered which three letters you need to spell the trigraph "your"? Pause the video to finish spelling these words, and then click play once you're ready to see the answers. Can you tick? Or fix your spellings. Did you notice? There's a pattern with the your trigraph. It's usually found at the end of a word. Wow! I have got a big challenge for us today. There are two sentences. I would like us to all read the first one. And some of us might challenge ourselves to read the second one too. Look at these sentences. Can you circle with your finger all of the common exception words? And can you underline the trigraph "your" in each sentence? Did you find the common exception words the, my, be, and so? And look, I've added sound buttons to the two words with the trigraph "your." Pause the video and read the sentences three times, and then click play once you're ready. Well done for reading the sentences more than once. Let's read it together. The lock on my shed will be so secure. Did any of you read the challenge sentence? Let's read it together. It will endure a tug. Look, here is the secure lock on my shed. It will endure a tug. Well done for mastering the trigraph "your" with me today. Congratulations.